Please welcome the recipient of last year's Jablo Award, Randall Jensta. As last year's proud and still stunned recipient of this honor, I am here tonight to present the Richard B. Jablo Award given for devoted service to the Guild to Lisa Takeochi Colin. The thing that makes Lisa outstanding is her ability to see each tale before her, whether it's a breaking story for SVU, greeting the emerging writers in our fellowship program, or working with the Guild to bring more writers' rooms to New York City, she tugs at each detail ever so gently with gentle curiosity and true thoughtfulness and turns an everyday conundrum into something quite wonderful. Simply, she reflects the power of the writer to grow our industry's character, inclusiveness, and imagination. It is with great pleasure, given the nature of our world, to honor someone who leads with such kindness. And just so you aren't looking around to see what Lisa's thinking about what I'm saying to, about her tonight, she couldn't be here, but we will hear from her shortly. Lisa's amazing in and of the fact that she became a Guild member in 2010, having not only figured out how to transition from reporting for Time Magazine, but writing for, pardon me, transitioning from writing for Time Magazine to writing for television, but doing so by getting Time Magazine to pay for her TV writing classes. Within a year of focusing on television, Lisa landed a blind script deal with Warner Brothers, building a career of development deals. Lisa currently, Lisa's currently developing a series at Netflix and holds an overall deal at Universal Studios in addition to her work with Law & Order SVU. Since 2016, Lisa has served on council, leading from a place of commitment to bettering our union by bettering the Guild's sense of community. One example is that she launched the WGA Women's Salon, a monthly gathering of women members with television credits to inspire solidarity and inclusiveness. Her union, her union leadership credits also include many trips to Albany year after year to lobby for the recently passed New York State Tax Initiative to increase opportunities for women and people of color to lead as writers and directors. <laughs> Launching our Asian American Salon this past fall to boost representation in our guild, co-chair of the WGA Committee for Inclusion and Equity, three and a half years of service on council, and for all you New Jersey folks in the crowd, she worked with Lowell to establish the TV and film credit in New Jersey that provides a 30% tax credit for, writers, uh, for local writers' rooms and an extra 2% initiative for diversity. I hope that in the year ahead, you'll get to know Lisa, and if you have already benefited from her service, just remember how much she demonstrates that one member can add so much to the tapestry of the Guild, detail by detail. 